Hey, what's going on? Not much, how are you, Russ? Fantastic. Um, well, let's start things this Sunday, SummerSlam. You are Mr. Money in the Bank. You said you wanted to cash it in at WrestleMania, but I kind of call you Mr. SummerSlam after what you did what you did last year. So, is there any chance that you'll cash try to cash it in this weekend? Now, um, one thing about you um, that is well known is that you're a vegan, and I was wondering how you can continue to be a vegan with the schedule that you have um, in in the WWE. Well, it's actually not as hard as people think. Um, the great thing is, is that a lot of uh, fast food restaurants now have vegan options. So, for example, like Taco Bell, you can get a fresco bean burrito at Taco Bell. And McDonald's has their oatmeal now, which is vegan. And so, uh, and then a lot of the chain restaurants and stuff have some vegan options, or at least some salad options. But realistically, uh, what I have to do is I have to bring a lot of food with me on the road. And so, I bring a lot of supplements, a lot of protein shakes, uh, a lot of nuts, a lot of seeds, all that kind of stuff, just to keep weight on. Interesting. Um, now, uh, also something that's known about you is that uh, you don't often watch television or get get into any of that. But when you do, is there any shows that you uh, like or um, that that your fans would like to like to know? That's a great Which one. I read those books when I was a kid, or when I was in high school, I read those books, right? Mm -hmm. And I was really hesitant to watch it, because usually everything, when you read the book and watch the movie, it's never nearly as good. Right. They did an awesome job with that series. Oh my gosh, I, I love the whole thing. And now, I can't wait for the next series to come out. Now, uh, involving television and, and movies, uh, WWE films always is cranking out uh, comedies, dramas, actions. Would you ever entertain uh, to star in one of those films? Uh, yeah, I mean, if they wanted me to, I'd, I'd, love to, I'd love to do it just as an experience. I mean, I have no interest in being an actor, um, but I would just like to experience it. I've talked to uh, Ted DiBiase, and he said, said filming The Marine 2 was one of the coolest experiences of his life, because I think they were in Thailand or something like that and he said just the whole experience was, was amazing now do you have any uh celebrity uh crushes at all you know what i honestly don't know that many celebrities <laughs> <laughs> like my uh my celebrity like if you said who do you think is like uh, the your dream girl as far as celebrities go my in my mind i'm thinking like Meg ryan Right? Like, nothing wrong with uh, that. There's nothing uh, wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is, uh, like, and just because I pay so little attention to popular culture, like, when people mention, like, whoever the hot it girl is, like, I really don't even know what they look like, you know? So, right. Uh, so, yeah, my answer would have to be Nick Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> That's a perfect answer, by the way. Um, now you you you've you made a lot of your career on uh the independent scene and uh being the best in the world. Um but now CM Punk has a shirt that says he's the best in the world. So uh what do you what do you think about the, all the stuff that's been happening with uh CM Punk on Raw now that you're on SmackDown? Well, I think we have CM Punk should fight and whoever wins gets the uh, the best of the world slogan. <laughs> But uh, I actually think CM Punk has been doing a great job on Raw. Like, he, you know, he's so interesting and so captivating because he just goes out there and speaks his mind. You know, he doesn't care what I think or what anybody else thinks. You know, 
you just got to go out there and say what he feels. And that's why he's captivated this, the, the entire WWE universe and people who have stopped watching and come back to watch because he's been so interesting, you know? Mm-hmm. This John Cena and Punk match at SummerSlam is huge. Their match at Money in the Bank was awesome and totally. incredible. And the build-up that they've done for SummerSlam, I literally can't wait to see what happens. And is there any drastic difference from when you were on Raw being the live show and SmackDown being the tape show? Is there any differences in how you prepare um, for when you're when you're on SmackDown compared to Raw? No, I mean, and I honestly, I don't even prepare any differently uh, for live events than I do for, t- for television. Um, my favorite is always the exact same. I always, I always do my warm up. I always take my wrist. Everything's the exact same. Uh, the only difference is with SmackDown, I've gotten a lot more opportunities than I got on Raw. You know, I'm on SmackDown every single week, you know, and a mm-hmm. lot of times, uh, and, and good long matches and that sort of thing. So I really appreciate being on SmackDown. It just, uh, it's, it's just given me a lot more opportunities. And for those opportunities, in the next uh, couple months, uh, what can we expect from uh, Daniel Bryan in, in, in the ring? And would you have a dream opponent at WrestleMania that you would like to cash in uh, the money in the bank? I mean, I think ideally the, uh, the person I'd like to cash it in on would be Randy Orton because he's the guy on SmackDown who you see as the man, you know? And uh, I don't want to just be the champion. I want to be the man, you know? And, mm-hmm. to, and like Rick Flair always said, to be the man, you have to be the man. And Randy Orton right now is the man on SmackDown. Well, excellent. Well, hopefully you'll uh, hit Christian in the head with a briefcase this week and help Randy get the title so you can get that uh, match. Uh, but uh, thank you. <laughs> but thank you for taking the time. I really appreciate it and uh, continued success. I'm a big fan and I'm looking forward to seeing what you have up your sleeve in the next few months and years to come. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Take it Thanks easy. Thank you. All right, bye-bye now. Bye.